110-1. It's going to look like this. It'll have like circles. That's multiplication times five. That's what we're learning tomorrow. Times five, I mean Friday. 110-1. I'm going to put it up here on the board. So it'll have groups of five. It's multiplication facts times five. So 110-1. So this is multiplying times five. <clears throat> Whenever we multiply, remember multiplication means groups of. That's why we have the X. That X tells us that it's groups of. Okay? So instead of drawing it out or having to write it out, we can just multiply, which makes it a lot faster. So we're going to learn times five today. So let's go ahead and look at A. So we have three times five equals how many pennies? So the picture is already done for you in your book, correct? So whenever we said three times five, we were saying three groups of five pennies. So we have three groups and they have five pennies in each group. How could I count this out? What's an easier way for me to count all of these? So all of these have five pennies in them. They all have five. So how could I count them? By what? Count by five. Count by five. So that's five, 10, 15. So that means three times five equals 15. So go ahead and fill that in. Three times five is 15. And then on the side where it says five times three equals 15. So say if I did, so I have three times five, what if it was five times three? Does the answer change? It does not, it stays the exact same. The answer does not change. All right, let's go ahead and do the next one, which is one times five. So that means I have one group with five. How many is that? One times five would equal to? Five. Of course, five. Five times one is five. One times five is five. Everybody, uh, we, yeah, we learned that one already, though. Okay, everybody, who, who, is everybody keeping up with us? I'm just making sure no one's lost and no one's behind. Everybody's caught up? Yes? Is everybody on C? All right, next we have four times five and five times four. So I'm saying that I have four groups that have five in them. Four groups that have five. So that means four times five. So I can count five, 10, 15, 20. So that means four times five equals 20. Five times four is 20. Everybody has it? Mikey, you're good. You're keeping up. Jasmine, you're good. Austin, Josiah, BJ, everybody's good. Who said no? I didn't hear. Yeah, I think your internet, you might have to leave the meeting and come back, Jasmine. Wait, what was B again? You heard, Jasmine? Five. Five. Jasmine, leave the meeting. Jasmine, leave the meeting and come back because your internet, I think it's your internet that's kind of moving slow. So exit the meeting and then come back inside of the meeting. Okay, so A was three times five is 15. B was one times five is five. And C, that's the one we're on right now, four times five is 20. All right, moving on to D. All right, D is two times five. So I'm saying that I have two groups that each have five in them. So I can simply count my groups by five. So that's five, ten. ten. So that means two times five equal ten. two times five is ten. I actually got it on my own. Yeah, awesome. And last one. Well, we're not done. We still have the other, the back of the page, but yeah. All right, and the last one is super.
super easy. That's zero times five. You have none. So zero times five is? No, zero. Remember, anything times zero is zero. That means you have none. That means you have none. Anything multiplying times zero is always zero. So for D, we do zero times five equals zero. We have none. So let's flip to the back of this page. Flip to the back of this page. We'll continue on. Count how many groups are on E. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did everybody count seven groups? Yeah. So the first one is seven times five. That's what we're multiplying, seven times five. Mm -mm, count again. 35. So let's count. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So 7 times 5 is 35, huh? Okay, let's look at G. Count how many groups you have drawn on G. How many groups are drawn? Nine. Nine. So that means we're trying to figure out what's 9 times 5. Well, hold on, guys. I was wait. I was trying to make sure everybody was caught up first. So yes, yeah, so we have nine groups now. So when we can count by fives for each group: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. So nine times five is forty-five. That's G. Nine times five is forty-five. So how many groups do we have drawn on H? Yep, five groups. So that means we're trying to figure out what's five times five. So, yep, 25. We count each group. So five times five is 25. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. 